the comes up within the first three months when you look at the baby and you are laughing the baby must laugh back but the baby is not laughing back or maybe you're looking at the baby the baby has to look at you but the baby is looking somewhere all these things are factors that you have to take in immediately you find out that your child is not responding to you the way uh, he or she is supposed to respond to you you just have to take the child to the antenatal care for, for, for you to be examined exactly. uh, the pediatric section now let's let's go back to the diet I, I it's it's something that I have a big interest in <laughs> yes. before um, during pregnancy yes. and uh, probably after um, giving birth does is there any much difference in what uh, a mother would eat I mean uh, during pregnancy and after childbirth uh, the, what you're supposed to eat is there much difference in the diet um, the difference is not much maybe I'll say the difference is when you are pregnant you have a bigger appetite mm. as compared to when you have the baby and then at times most parents will say eh, nah, my winter will say me yeah been quite then then for a fresh mother who has just you know given birth and sit on hot water and all those uh, <laughs> Imagine after going through child labor, you can imagine the pain. All this pain makes the mother not even feel for food. Yeah. She she she's not a happy person. Hmm. And me when I'm happy I have a bigger appetite. I don't know of other people, but I believe that when everybody is happy they have, you know bigger appetite so the symptoms is still the same okay stress-free mm -hmm. you have to ease your mind because and you know once you are the sole person holding the baby 24 7 your moods affect the baby mm -hmm. a little bit so all these things and especially you were talking about the diet which is food that the nursing mother should eat like I said earlier on you know you have to be eating what you were told to be eating when you were pregnant because they are all nutrients, especially the fresh fruits that have not gone through processing or that has not been cooked. Yes, those ones are very, very, very important, which, which is, of course, the fruits and then the um, vegetables. Can you give examples of some of the fruits, for example, um, the, the, the very juicy ones or... Which type of fruits? I mean, they're citric fruits or what? Uh, of various kinds of fruits, isn't various it? Various kinds, something like um, pompo, mm. kaya, uh, uh, banana, mangoes. mangoes. What about oranges? Um, oranges, I'm not so sure because of the citric acid mm. that is in it. So for oranges, I'm not really, really, really sure about it. Unless maybe I also as a pediatrician if oranges is good, but definitely the the body needs certain amount of um, acid to you know function properly. So maybe oranges, but I would suggest in moderation. But it'd be better you go in for the less acidic fruits. Mm. And for the uh, and in, in what quantities? I mean, can you eat them at any time of the day? Any time, mm. any time. For example, when you wake up in the morning and then maybe you are taking Milo or you are taking your breakfast, you can add a little bit of fruits to it. Yes. And for the vegetables? And for the vegetables, what I would percentage eat? of it should constitute your should make up your your your, your meals? For example. Uh, I would, if it is going to be over ten, I would give it four forty, four forty maybe. Um, four of uh, maybe vegetables, four of maybe fruit, and then four, two of ordinary food. I see. All right, we'll, we'll come back later to discuss um, some other aspects of um, pregnancy, uh, the responsibility of the mother.